Now there are other ways to get things into and out of a computer other than the various different input and output devices we've talked about. The input devices we've talked about are the keyboard, the mouse, the other pointing devices, the um, speaker, and the camera. Those being the four major input devices that we would use as individuals to put information into the computer. And then the output devices pretty much are just the display, speakers, and um, sometimes a little vibration feedback. But there are also other ways to put information into the computer and get information out of a computer. Tablet computers always have some sort of way to plug them in to a desktop computer or a laptop computer. So this um, Apple iPad has a connector there. This HP touchpad has a connector right there for USB. Um, this phone has a connector for USB right there. So those are ways you can transfer information between two devices using a cable of some sort. Usually it's a USB cable, at least on the computer end, even if it's not on the device end. Now this laptop has all sorts of connections. It has two USB ports on this side where USB devices could be plugged in. It's got one phone port where you could plug in a phone line to connect to the internet using the phone line. Now you can't just plug in a phone line and have it work. You have to have the phone number to dial, you have to have a program to dial the number, and then you have to um, usually pay the person on the other end of the line, if it's an internet provider, so that you can use their computers to connect to the internet. Now there's another connector here, this is a round connector, so most likely that is for power, and you, there is a tiny symbol there that shows power. So that's not information going in, but that's just energy going in. Okay, on the front of this computer we have several places to plug in devices. We can see this one is going to be for the microphone, and these two are going to be for headphones. We can plug in two sets of headphones here. On this side of the device, on the laptop, we can see that there's a place to plug in a memory card, a place to plug in a FireWire data port, that would be to connect it to an external hard drive or maybe a video camera that has that sort of port, another USB port, this is a networking port right here to connect to a computer network, this is a special expansion port so we can plug this laptop into lots of more connectors. And then we have our monitor port, which is normally blue. In this case, it's not blue. And there's an old style original. It looks like a mouse port right there. And actually, it's not a mouse port. If you look extremely closely, you'll see it says S. And that is a super video port to plug in um, and have a, a display on the outside of this computer. There's one port we missed here. That's this one. And this one actually holds a remote control, which is kind of cool. So the little remote control goes into that port there. Let's look at one more laptop computer and see what kind of ports are on the laptop computer. How information could come in or out of this computer. So here's a laptop computer. We'll start on the side over here. You can see we've got a power. It's usually round. So the power port's over here. Then we've got a couple USB ports right here. We could plug in any USB dev device here. Um, just because we can plug it in doesn't mean it's going to work immediately. We might have to add some software. But USB devices, this one doesn't have anything on the front. On this side over here, we can plug in speakers and microphones. And those aren't well labeled on the bottom. Although there are some labels somewhere on there, so we can figure out what those are. Ah, they're labeled on the underneath side. It's very hard to see. <clears throat> then we've got a couple of USB ports. Again, a network port to connect to a network. 
We've got another port. This is called a um, HDMI port. Both sound and picture can come out through this port. I mean, it's all data, so it could be basically anything, but most commonly, and the only thing I've ever seen, is plugging this into a display of some sort, like a high-definition television. And there's our regular display port right there. Again, normally that's blue, but it's not colored blue on this laptop. So those are some different connections on the laptops and the tablet computers. That's ways to get information into the computer and ways to get information out of the computer using those connections. And there are all sorts of different connections on those computers.